everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Joelle and welcome to this 10 minute kneeling practice for hip pain and hip bursitis. If you are new here, I just wanted to share that this video is actually part of a series. I already have five other hip pain and bursitis videos on my channel, as well as a video that explores a four week suggested exercise program for hip pain and hip bursitis. So I would encourage you to check those out. I will link all of them down below. And also this particular video happens to be coming out on my birthday. And if you would like to get me something then I would truly appreciate it if you would hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. All of those things really help me out. And of course, if you're feeling particularly generous, then there's also a PayPal link in the description box below where you can support my work or perhaps just buy me a celebratory drink. So with that said, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you on the mat. So let's start by warming up the wrists a little bit. You can clasp the fingers and start making some little circles with your clasped hands. We'll be grateful to have done this in just a moment. Our wrists will thank us for it. And then we can just take some little wrist circles, kind of grabbing the air with your fingers and changing directions. Very nice, just shake that off. And here we go. We'll come onto hands and knees, hips above knees, shoulders above wrists. And let's just start by taking some gentle circles to the right with our hips, finding your own pace. You can start small here. We're just kind of feeling into how those hips are doing today. Any sensations at all? Maybe on one side or the other. And then we can reverse that circle. And as with all of my videos, I encourage you to never push into any pain. Just use this as an opportunity to notice if any exercises feel particularly nice for your hips so that you can come back to them. Beautiful. So let's come to stillness now, back to hands and knees. And we'll just progress by opening the left knee out to the side and then closing. So again, finding your own rhythm here. This is all about making ourselves feel better through a combination of strengthening moves like this one here and stretching. So this could be a really small movement, even just a couple of inches out to the side. We'll get those outer hip muscles in our left hip working. It's called a fire hydrant move. And then we'll extend that left leg out and we'll try to lift the foot up off the mat and set it down. Let's try that two more times. So lift and hold. I know this one is really tough. You've got this, hold it. And set it down and we've just got one more here. So lift, if the foot doesn't wanna leave the floor, just try, you're still making those muscles work and set it down, beautifully done. And you can stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn around to the other side so you can see better. And let's start with those fire hydrant moves. So opening and closing our right knee now out to the side. And again, you choose how far the knee goes. We're trying to keep the hips level now. So again, the knee doesn't need to go very far. And if you imagine a dog next to a fire hydrant. I'm sure you can understand why this move is called the way it is. I did not name it, I promise. And this is one where it doesn't take much to start feeling it. I certainly already was feeling things at this point, so you probably are too. Very nice. We'll release that motion, straighten the leg out now. And again, let's just try to lift that foot. Maybe it leaves the floor, maybe it doesn't. All I care about is that you feel this in the outer hip. Let's try that two more times. Lift, hold, keep lifting. And then lower it down and last one. Lift and hold. Squeezing the abs, squeezing the glutes. 
and then set it down very nice that's probably the hardest move we'll do today so great job getting through it i think we all deserved a child's pose after that so let's widen the knees sit the hips back towards the heels and the forehead comes in the direction of the floor maybe closing the eyes finding some nice deep breaths here and if you have tried any of my hip pain sequences before, you'll know that I myself have suffered from chronic hip bursitis. I know that it can be dreadfully painful. So I really applaud you for taking the time today to take care of yourself. And I truly hope that this will make a difference. So come back to it. Try my other sequences as well, mixing and matching. Maybe that four-week program, it will make a difference. And then let's come back up to hands and knees, four-point position here. And we'll start taking some little circles, this time with the right knee. So just going in one direction. No need to make the circles too big. We're just kind of moving the hip through full range of motion here. And then you can reverse the direction of that circle, going the other way. And just kind of noticing any sensations in that right hip, how it's doing. It's already been working hard for the past few minutes. And then we'll set it down, maybe shake it out a little side to side. And let's try the left knee. So little circles with that knee in one direction. Maybe the circles get progressively bigger, or maybe they stay small for today. Just noticing if there's any difference in this second side. And let's try reversing that circle. And imagine that it's just the knee that's moving. So we're still keeping the abs engaged. Trying to keep our shoulders even. I know that can be tricky. Just isolating that movement, really coming from the hip. Very nice. Set that knee down. Wag your tail a little bit from side to side. And then we'll come into bird dog. So extend the right arm and the left leg and set them down. And then let's keep going on that same side. So it's still the right arm and the left leg, just reaching out and setting down each time. And if this is a little bit too much from a balance perspective, then you might just keep that hand on the mat and just work the leg. Since we're focused on the hips today, perfectly fine. Just try to extend that leg a little bit more each time and really work that left glute. So keeping a little bit of a squeeze there. Really nice, set it down, shake it out. Now let's try the other side. So extending the right leg now and left arm, or maybe just the leg. Just kind of repeating that motion, flowing through this movement, maybe associating with the breath, inhaling as you stretch. And exhaling to set back down. Just a couple more here. Doing really well. And then we can release, shake it off, and we'll walk the hands back, coming up into a tall kneeling position now. Squeeze the glutes to tuck the pelvis under, and you might just stay up tall, or you could lean back a couple of inches. You might choose also to stretch the arms out in front of you for just a little bit of counterweight. Squeezing the glutes here. Maybe see if you can lean back one extra inch. See if you can smile through it. I know this one is tougher than it looks. And we're all done. So coming back forward. And we'll lower down onto our forearms now, and you can just kind of walk the knees back behind you. So coming into a modified forearm plank on our knees. And the more we squeeze the glutes, the more we engage our abs, the more accessible a pose like this one becomes. And if you really want a bit of a challenge, or if you just want to give your knees a break, you could tuck the toes underneath and lift the knees off the mat. Coming into a full forearm plank. But it's not necessary. Again, what we're really trying to do here is to keep some activity in the glutes. And I know I keep saying that, but that's what really ends up protecting our bursa and our hip joint. So that'll make all the difference in today's practice. 
and then we can set the knees down if they were up. And coming back into a four point or hands and knees position. And now we'll just start lifting one knee up an inch or two and then the other. So it's just the knee that's lifting. Tops of both feet stay pressed into the mat as we just kind of alternate. It's almost like you're walking with your knees and that just kind of allows the hips to shift a little bit. Getting into the lower back as well. This is probably one of my favorites actually. And then let's release that motion. We'll come to sit back on our heels now. Roll the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath. And for our last exercise, let's just start rocking the pelvis backwards and forwards, squeezing the glutes each time you press forwards. And I'm so grateful that you joined me today. Again, I truly hope this will make a difference. Even just 10 minutes, even when that's all we've got, does make a difference in our bodies and minds. And I hope that if you enjoyed this, you'll join me for more sequences by subscribing, hitting the like button, leaving me a comment. And I thank you again and hope to see you soon. Well done today and namaste.